welcome to the lesson of the week with yours truly, Sean Thunder Wallace. I'm a performer, composer, and professor of music at The Ohio State University. This weekly program is designed to inspire and inform the serious music student. We're all students here, so join me on the path of discovery as we learn together. Part of that is still like, I hear an idea that I want to play over those chord changes, but sometimes I'm like, I catch myself at the, like late, like I'll know what I want to play, but mm -hmm. it's just like that, a couple notes will like, just like, I won't think of it in time. <laughs> and then it's like, and then I hear it and I was like, oh, now I know what to do. But I'm still having trouble like, like doing it playing what you hear kind of thing. Yep. And so. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a struggle for all of us. Um, and the closer that you think you are to it, the further you're away from it, you know. Yeah. Or, or the closer you go, you know, that you get to it, the more aware that you are, that the further away that you actually are. And in reality, <laughs> cool. to, to, you know, how how did, how is that like supposed to work like on an academic level because I'm supposed to be trying to like play what I'm working on mm -hmm. but at the same time I'm still supposed to try and be playing what I'm hearing and sometimes it doesn't work like well well, well ideally um, uh, ideally when you're playing something both is happening uh -huh. you know because when you're sitting in the practice room and you're, and you're drilling something, you're also hearing that. I mean, you're not, you know, you're not just pressing buttons, you know, you're hearing the sound that those, the, that particular order of pressing buttons is getting you, yeah. you know. So you're hearing what's, what, what's happening also. So that actually, over time, uh, will start to influence some of your ideas and in, in, in what you're playing. Now, um, that's okay to be influenced by uh, things that you practice, to be influenced by the tradition, influenced by all kinds of different things. That's that's fine. That doesn't mean that you're locked in that, to having to sound a certain way. Huh. It doesn't mean that at all. Um, as remember that each each exercise that I give you to work on has two two goals. You know, one is to in, in improve your uh, technical facility and your ability to address certain chord changes with specific devices, you know, to make to get around the chord changes. Okay, that's that's one thing. But the second thing is you're hearing that. Okay, so uh, so also to influence maybe some uh, certain note choices that'll influence. Uh, Certain things that you should be hearing in certain contexts, you yeah. know. Uh, so that's like the two things that are happening. So kind of the one side is 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 helping you to have the actual ability to play through the changes, you know, and yeah. and that's useful no matter what your ideas happen to be or what what you want to sound like. You have to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, you know, obviously whatever you practice, if you're practicing a lot. You're hearing yourself practice that, so it's going to uh, uh, have an effect on certain things that you're hearing in context. With change. So you know, so it's it's kind of having an effect both ways. But uh, you know, this is why I suggest also that you spend a lot of time listening to all kinds of folks. I, you know, the transcriptions that I give you guys are broad range of stuff. Yeah. You know, and. Uh, and then whatever you decide that you want to transcribe, I, you know, I expect that that would be more along the lines of maybe something that you're that, that you're wanting to deal with, or sometimes you know I'll assign you something to deal with because I, I, I may have a perception of a weakness uh, in your playing that you we're trying to you know boost up and you know give you a, a flu shot, so to speak. One one thing that's happening um, when I'm like working out two fives and turnarounds is. I'm really good at like the error detection. Like if I play the line and I do it in the next key, I can hear when it's wrong. But and I know I need to put more time into it. But like sometimes when I'm just trying to play them all straight down, 
like that's what mess me that's what will mess me up. I'll like just play the wrong note and then mm-hmm. like I'll try and go back and not fix it, but I don't have time for it. Yeah. How how can I like try and do that more efficiently? Where uh, it's repetition. I mean, yeah. in, in 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 small pieces. Yeah. You know, and and again, I think it's certain keys that you're having the biggest challenge in. Because there's some keys, I mean, even like when we were doing the test yesterday, or whatever it was, Friday, when we yeah. did the two fives and turnarounds, the, uh, the, the issue was when you got to certain keys, that's when you were having challenges. Uh-huh. It was almost predictable that certain keys were going to give you a challenge. So you had to figure out what those keys are that are giving you a challenge. I mean, it's probably stuff with more flats and more sharps. Why, how, how should I be breaking that down? Like, should I just be like putting it like straight through or like... Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, or like in order to pick out little parts. And well, oh, okay, to check it out. Check it out. Um, if there's stuff that keeps giving you glitches, then obviously you have to keep addressing that glitch until it's not a glitch anymore. Yeah. Okay. So that's so if that's a, if that's the whole section or if it's a small piece, you right. know. However, you have to do that. You know, uh, like I'm saying, I mean, you micromanage until you don't have to anymore, and then right. and then you can stop doing that because the because it's happening like it should. Right. Okay? So you get as close as you have to to address whatever the particular issue is. Now, um, you have a couple things to think about. I mean, you need to be able to play each each key very consistently. Yeah. No matter what is going to happen, you can just play it. Okay? That's one. Two is you, is you have to play them in succession. So if you want to be successful playing with you know, playing in the class, playing, you know, playing with, uh, uh, you know, with the, with the with the recording, you know, and and really hitting it. That means that over and over and over in the practice room, you will have, you would have had to play it without a, even a blip. Yeah. You know, to, to be able to sit in the classroom to play it correctly. Yeah. You know, uh, so that's 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 kind of where you're. That's I mean that's that's what it is. Yeah. You know. So that gives you an idea of how much repetition it's going to require to make sure that you're able to, without that, it's just bow. It's just automatic. It's just going to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.